As the year draws to a close, let's take a look back at what's been a big year in science. Here are your top stories for 2013. At number five, virologists in March reported that they had cured an infant of HIV. The infected baby was just 30 hours old when it started an 18-month treatment program using standard HIV drug therapy. Ten months after treatment finished, the baby was still in the clear, potentially changing how HIV is treated in children. Coming in at number four is the first synthetic meat hamburger. The 100% beef burger was made in the lab by growing muscle cells harvested from a living cow. It apparently tasted just like the real thing. The $370,000 price tag means it's not quite ready for our supermarket shelves, but it heralds a new era for more sustainable meat production. Number three on our list goes to the first human embryonic stem cell created using therapeutic cloning. They took the nucleus from a human skin cell and then transferred it into an unfertilised egg that had had its genetic material removed. These embryonic stem cells could be used in personalised therapies for a range of diseases, but the use of human donor eggs has raised a number of ethical concerns. At number two is the IPCC's fifth climate change report, painting a pretty grim picture. We can now be 95% certain that humans are causing global warming, with CO2 concentrations rising 40% since pre-industrial times. By the end of this century, the report predicts a two degree rise in the average global temperature, a minimum 26 centimetre rise in sea levels, and more ocean warming and ocean acidification carrying a wide range of environmental consequences. This is it, our top science story of 2013. A NASA space probe this year ventured further into space than ever before. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 and this year moved outside our solar system into interstellar space. In April, the probe recorded sounds of interstellar space as it meandered through the cosmos some 19 billion kilometres away. Very cool. This list was a joint project with the Australian Science Media Centre and CSIRO. Check out our website for the full top 10. That's it for this week in science. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.